2 Kings 5.23b Vayetzar ki karim kasef basane haritim ushate halifot bagadim Vayitain el shane na'arav Vayisu lefanav The subject is Naaman still, and Naaman is the subject of these two verbs, though we suspect here that there's probably some instrumentality going on, not imagining that Naaman himself is doing this. Nonetheless, uh, and Naaman tied up, and it's in the plural, so we take this as two because there's no number, two talents of silver in two sacks and two changes of clothing. And he gave to two of his serving lads, and they carried before him. Now this him is probably Gehazi, that is, they carried uh, the things that Naaman tied up before Gehazi. Bayetzar is from Tsare Vav Resh, that is, it's a hollow because of the middle root letter, which disappears as we see here. This is a kal vav consecutive imperfect 3ms with a subject spelled out. And we have two pe noon verbs, vaitain vais u. Now, first, vaitain, uh, this is from Natan. And it's kal, vav, consecutive, imperfect, 3ms. Then we have uh, vais u. This is from nun, sin, aleph. This is also kal, vav, consecutive, imperfect, but it's 3mp. Now, we see that there is a uh, strong dagesh, that is, the nun has assimilated into the second root letter in vaitain. However, in Vaisu, uh, that's not the case. Now, sometimes in uh, pay noons with 3MP, there is a noon remaining in the middle root letter, and sometimes not as here. Part of it is based on the accenting, which has moved to the last syllable, and so that releases the um, strong dagesh there whereas the strong dagesh stays here with the accent on this syllable. So two things are interesting with the um, characteristic of the storytelling here is uh, the repeated use of um, you know, two, uh, two, well, I guess a repeated twos, um, two talents of silver in two bags and two changes of clothing and two... Uh, uh, serving lads to carry it. So this is a, a lot of detail um, for uh, what's going on so that we have kind of a full picture of what Naaman has given Gehazi. And the other thing here is, again, the use of, um, in this case, the more generic serving youths or serving lads. But there's more servants. Again, the servants of Naaman in his entourage are helping to carry the 150 pounds of silver and two changes of clothing that the servant of Elisha asked for with his far-fetched scenario. Well, maybe it's not so far-fetched, but uh, it is just a made-up scenario.